Hi, Scott Stankowski here from CentralWisconsinSports.net, and we're bringing you a new little piece that hopefully will become a mainstay with one of my good friends, Chef Thad Klasinski. He is the owner and operator of Michelle's Restaurant and Catering. The turkey that was brought in, Scott crept in very nicely from the field. He uh, brought in dark and white meat. Um, I was impressed. I, I, many of the people that I've worked with that have brought me wild turkeys before, or that I've actually harvested myself, most people don't keep the thigh. Scott was wise enough to, to take the thigh, and that is the one cut of meat on a turkey that, that gives you the fat that other parts of that turkey do not. We're going to break it into two sections and use a real stiff chef's knife, something with a real thick tang on it, something that can go through bones. Most game, it goes even, to, even with a deer, you find that, that articulation point, right? Find where that is and see if you can get your knife to go into that point and then find it again. We're trying to get between the bones. Okay, so I got the head of the femur. I guess that was what we call That's all cartilage there. So I, I kind of cut through the cartilage to separate those two. This bones. is that wonderful thigh I told you about, okay? The thigh that to me is the most underrated part of that turkey. Um, remember that poison you're out in the woods, save the thighs. I'm using it for the meat and the soup. You could use it for all different things. You probably could get away with even taking this and, and just pan frying like you do med venison medallion sometimes. It's so rich and dark and just nice stuff. We're, we're leaving the bone in. When we're making stocks, we can leave some of the cruddy stuff in. As you know, we're going to go ahead and take this in, and we're going to boil it. So we're going to break down most of those proteins and we're really looking for the stock in the end that the liquid we, we, we get. In the end, but so I've broken them into two groups. I mentioned earlier that sometimes we'll we'll take and score this so it cooks more uniformly. We get the liquid to work in, cooks quicker, more uniformly, gets flavors inside. So I scored that. But we're going to put this right in some boiling water, and then the water we're going to add some ingredients to help the stock out. We're going to add this is about a quart of water. We're going to add I, I'm going to add probably a um, two tablespoons of kosher salt. Well, four or five bay leaves, and then we're going to add about a teaspoon of white pepper. I'm going to turn up the heat. We're going to let this, when it comes to a boil, we'll turn it down to a simmer, and we will let it stay there for as much as four hours, probably having to add liquid as we go along to replace what cooks off. But that's our, the start of our soup. A pretty simple recipe. We're trying to get the flavors from the bones and the meats uh, to create that stock. So this has been boiling, and that's going to be the basis of our soup. That's going to be the stock. So we're going to come and we're going to go ahead and drain the stock while it's been cooking. So we're, the way I set this up is I'll typically just get a colander on top of another pan and I'll pour off the, the bones and the meat that's now fallen off the bowl to some extent. Just so in case there were any maybe pellets or wood fragments, they're not going to get in the stock. And now we have a clear, strained stock. I'm going to take from stock and I'm going to pull the meat away and that'll be the meat for our soup. The stock's going to be turned up to a high heat and then simmer. John, you can get the other vegetables if you work on the cooler. Okay. So here, we're just going to try to cut away any meat that we can, keeping away from the tendons. You'll notice that it's, it's kind of looks like it's been cut through once before. Well, honestly, it was. About an hour and a half into it, I decided to cut some slits into these turkey. These turkeys had such, they were so firm, I decided that I get exposed, exposed more meat to the cooking, cooking medium, the water. So I, I kind of scored all the, the, the drummies and um, to get more of that flavor in and around the meat that was trying to be cooked. So I'm going to pull as much of that meat as I can bay leaves, I told you about those being put in the water. It's like this bird got hit with the, one of the pellets, maybe hit it in the leg. I know that I didn't drive a knife through it like that, so who knows, maybe a little luck for us. Some of the bone marrow came out and added to the wonderful flavor of the soup. Once I have the meat tendon free, ligament free, fat free, I'm going to chop in pieces that you would make sense to you for a soup. You can hear the knife snap sometimes. You hear the knife snap driving through wild game, that means there's probably something in there you don't want. And trust me, if you've ever seen a turkey leg, there's a lot going on there. As you can see, the soup has come to a boil. We've added the apple with bacon. We've added the bell peppers. We've added 
onion, the, the scallion, the green onion, the Bermuda onion, those have now cooked in that in that boiling liquid. So they've softened up. Okay. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna add heavy whipping cream. Okay. A quart of soup. I'm gonna add probably as much as two cups of this. We're gonna add the solid roux. The hot liquid, the liquid has to be hot, and we have to work the French whip into the, the, the soup as it's cooking to make the roux do its magic. Once it thickens, then we're going to add our cooked wild rice medley and our rendered meat. As far as the thickness goes, it's, it's to your liking. I'm going to try to get it to the consistency of almost like a chowder. One of the things with using a roux is you've got to be a little careful because if you, you think you don't have enough, you might want to just give it a little more time and temperature because it'll all of a sudden go from being not thick enough to what you see there, maybe even a little too thick. One of the glories of using a roux is I can cut this liquid back. I can add a little more stock or even a little bit of hot water to thin it. We're going to go ahead and add our the wild rice. We've got about two cups of wild rice medley. We've got about one and a half, two cups of the chopped turkey meat from our thighs. A little bit from the legs. Quite a thick soup. We're going to thin it with some more water. Maybe take a flat bowl like so. a little bit of color on it. And we say bon appetit. I'm confident you're going to like this recipe. Mmm. That is amazing. Eel good soup. So it's a that meal. Is. Soup should mm. be a meal. You put that in front of you, you get some nice bread and um, hell, I think you could put that out in your duck blind and have it to warm your, mm. warm your belly on a cold fall oh, afternoon. That's awesome. So, Game of Turkey Wild Rice. It's a, it's a hit every time. Enjoy. Right? Oh my goodness. This is so good. Oh my god. Mm. This is so delicious.